Over the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has moved up about half a percent, trading around 9,154. Most of the top coins are following Bitcoin sideways. And one of my favorite altcoins, Chainlink, is still maintaining and sustaining these higher prices. So we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin and the Chainlink trend in this video. Before we get into this video, I need to make a disclaimer. There's a lot of scams taking place in the crypto industry right now. Recently, we had a Twitter hack and some of the top Twitter accounts, including Obama, Joe Biden, uh, Kim Kardashian, uh, Kanye West, Jeff Bezos got hacked and a hacker put out, you know, a Bitcoin address that, you know, some kind of giveaway scam. And a lot of people got scammed on that. Millions of dollars were lost. Also, YouTube has been allowing certain advertisements for scam giveaways that look real that you might have actually seen before this video. You guys need to make sure that you do not fall for these. You will not receive free money, right? Any scam that says they're gonna send back more Bitcoin than you sent them, once that Bitcoin leaves your wallet, it is gone forever. So do not fall for these scams, right? Now let's get back into the video. I'm looking at the crypto watch asset card list and we can see that Bitcoin is up almost half a percent in Ethereum trading sideways, Chainlink down 2.29%. Some altcoins like Stellar, Algo, XRP, um, EOS, and a few others are seeing some upside today, which is nice to see some of the altcoins gaining. Also, huge shout out to all the people in my Patreon that got in on this trade. RLC, iExec, is seeing some incredible gains. Since the buy call that I put out on Patreon in the middle of June, we are up now over 200% on this trade, an absolute rip to the upside, breaking this multi-year resistance, breaking some previous horizontal resistance. So congrats to all you guys in Patreon who took this trade. For the better part of two months, we've been trending below this multi-year resistance. And what we can see is that we are seeing lower highs and higher lows overall. And this is accompanied by a decline in volume, which does tell us that we are consolidating right now. What I like about this consolidation for Bitcoin is that there haven't been that many sellers. No big players are stepping in to dump Bitcoin right now, which tells me that people are confident in the current prices of Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And something else we've discussed heavily on this channel are the two moving averages that I'm using heavily in my analysis, which is the purple 10-week EMA and the blue 21-week EMA. These moving averages are closely aligned. When we're below them, we're generally bearish, and when we're above them, we're generally bullish. And as long as Bitcoin right now is able to remain above them, I'm going to remain bullish. And if we do get this breakout in the near future, it's very likely that we're going to be trending upwards with these moving averages to create the next major uptrend for the next breakout. I still see this as the most likely scenario for Bitcoin right now. I think we could easily be at 15,000 by the end of the year. And for the next maybe month or two, we would trade and consolidate below 10,500 and above the multi-year resistance as new support, trending with the 10-week and 21-week EMAs. There's no reason for me to flip bearish on Bitcoin right now. Things are still looking pretty good. The stock market market is still generally bullish. The stock market is also still generally trending to the upside. And this volume decline is coming to an end point. And I do think we're going to see a major impulse. And I'm leaning bullish, guys. I'm leaning bullish. Now, moving on to the Chainlink chart. We're looking at the weekly for Chainlink right now. Chainlink to USD. We have seen a break of the all-time high, which is putting us in a blue sky breakout because we have no previous resistance. Chainlink is now going through price discovery. Since the all-time high level, Chainlink is right now up 62% on this breakout. And one thing I discussed in my last video is that all the people that bought Chainlink at these lower levels that are now profiting to the upside here are creating a lot of buzz on social media. And this is creating emotional feedback where there's a feedback loop where people who did not buy Chainlink are now entering the market, pushing prices even higher. And that's how you see growth in the market, guys. Now let's take a look at the four hour chart. The four hour chart is really interesting right now. So if we're looking here at the bottom of the chart, this is the all time high break. And since then we've just been trending up higher lows after higher lows. And if we draw an upward sloping trend line here, we can see that Chainlink is remaining above this upward sloping trend. So Chainlink is still trending. Chainlink still has room to move down to touch the upward sloping trend line before confirming it as potential support once again. The next key area to look at for Chainlink is just below $8, around $7.90. This is the area that Chainlink needs to hold to 
remain above this trend. If we can't remain above this trend line and we break below it, that's when you could see a short-term correction for Chainlink. And I do think that with all the recent buzz about Chainlink, things are gonna become very parabolic here. We're probably gonna see an even steeper trend get created on the next major run up. And very likely we're gonna get a parabolic shift here for Chainlink. So I just wanted to recap for you guys what I said in my last video about the psychology that's taking place right now. You know, if there is a dip for Chainlink, it's gonna get bought up heavily, right? So personally, I'm probably gonna load up on the next dip if there is one. If not, you know, I'm just gonna ride my positions to the upside. One thing I always say to people is that always expect that the market could go lower. Even if you're very bullish as I am on Chainlink, just always expect that there could be a dip because then you're mentally prepared for it and you might have some cash put aside to buy that dip. But overall, I'm very bullish on Chainlink and I'm also bullish on Bitcoin right now. And that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and also sign up with the CryptoWatch platform, which is the platform you see me use in all my videos. It has been my preferred platform for charting and trading for multiple years now. There is a tutorial popping up on the screen. Definitely click that tutorial and get yourself set up. It is now free to trade on CryptoWatch you got nothing to lose click that link below and sign up also if you guys want to support the channel and take a look at the altcoins that i'm getting involved in join the patreon and i will see you all in the next video